Mr. Lunt, the part of the show where Mr. Lunt comes out and sings a love song. He said to her, I'd like a cheeseburger, and I might like a milkshake as well. She said to him, I can't give you either, and he said, isn't this burger bell? She said, yes it is, but we're closed now But we open tomorrow at ten He said, I am extremely hungry But I guess I can wait until then Cause your his cheeseburger, his yummy cheeseburger When he spotted a billboard for Denny's Bacon and eggs for half price How could he resist such an offer? He really needed something to munch Cheeseburger, please do not get angry He'll eat and be back here for lunch Cause you're his cheeseburger it's fresh as cheeseburger Be back for you, ooh He'll be back for you, ooh Won't be so long, cheeseburger Oh, lovely cheeseburger Be back for you, ooh Oh, he'll be back for you Cause he loves you, cheeseburger With all his heart And there ain't nothing gonna tear you To do a part And if they were to sing about growing up in Connecticut. This has been Love Songs with Mr. Lunt. Tune in next time to hear Mr. Lunt say, I grew up in New Jersey. And now it's time for The Blues with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings the blues. Hey, everybody. I'm going to lay down some blues. All sunshine and roses, no rain came my way. I said, all sunshine and roses, no rain came my way. Mm -mm. My dad bought me ice cream. Oh, happy, 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 happy day. Up that ice cream got some on my face. That's right, right on my face. I said, I ate up that ice cream, got some on my face. Got some on the table. Oh, happy, sticky, happy, sticky, happy, happy, sticky, happy place. Hey, man, what you doing? I'm singing the blues. Oh, man. The blues is for singing when you feel sad. But I don't feel sad. Man, you got no business singing the blues. Here, let me help you out. Take this. Cool, ice cream. Thanks. Now give me back that ice cream. You took my ice cream. 
You took it from me. You took my ice cream. You took it away from me. Oh, yeah. Now you're getting it. Now listen up. But I'm still not sad. I'll just have a cookie. No, 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 ma'am. You almost had it. Come on, like this. You took away my ice cream. You took it away from me. My sweet, creamy ice cream. I don't care about no cookie. Now try it again. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. That's right. Mm -hmm. Feel it. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. Oh, sweet, man. Sweet. But that don't bother me none. My freshly baked strudel. What? Strudel? Man, you can't say strudel in the blues. I don't even rhyme. Well, what about poodle? Because I got a poodle. Ha! Oh, no, don't tell me you're going to eat that poodle. No, I'm just going to pet him. Petting poodles makes me happy. <laughs> Sorry, man. You way too happy to sing the blues. Hello. Would you like to poker? Sure. Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. But I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy. Just here with my poodle. That's right. Oh yeah, I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy. Just me and my poodle. This has been the Blues with Larry. Tune in next time to... Oh, never mind. Larry's not likely to be singing the blues again anytime soon. Joining Larry are Pa Grape and Mr. Lunt, who together make up the infamous gang of scallywags, the pirates who don't do anything. We are the pirates who don't do anything. And I've never been to Denver And I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul And I've never been to Moscow And I've never been to Tampa And I've never been to Boston in the pool But we're the pirates who don't do anything We just stay home and lie around And if you ask us to do anything We'll just tell you We don't do anything never hoist the mainstay and I never swab the poop deck and I never fear the starboard cause I never sail at all and I've never walked the gangplank and I've never owned that ferret and I've never been to Boston in the fall cause we're the pirates who don't do anything we just stay home and lie around and if you ask us to do anything we'll just tell you we don't do anything well the rooster and I'm not too good at ping pong and I've never thrown my mashed potatoes up against the wall and I've never kicked a chipmunk and I've never gotten head lice and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Huh? What are you talking about? What's a rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate? Hey, that's right. We're supposed to sing about piratey things. And who's ever kissed a chipmunk? That's just nonsense! Why even bring it up? Am I right? What do you think? I think you look like Captain Crunch. Huh? No, I don't. Do too. Do not. You're making me hungry. That's it. You're walking the plank. Says who? Says the cabin. That's who? Oh, yeah? Aye, aye, Captain Crunch. <laughs> Yikes! 
flick the spark plug and I've never sniffed a stink bug and I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball and I've never bathed in yogurt and I don't look good in leggings. You just don't get it. And we've never been to Boston in the fall. Pass the chips. Who's got the remote control? Here it is. Time for Eraldo. It's definitely time for Wapna. Oh, I don't like this show. Hey, look. I found a quarter. There lived a man so long ago, his memories but faint. Was not admired, did not inspire, like president or saint. But people came from far and near with their afflicted pets for a special cure. They knew for sure wouldn't come from other pets. Whoa! This is a song for your poor sick penguin. He's got a fever and his toes are blue. But if I think to your poor sick penguin, he will feel better in a day or two. He's gonna let a loopy in case you haven't hoid. Here's a couple penicillin for your sickly arctic void. No skeptic could explain just how, nor could one off three, but the wondrous deeds that went on in that little alpine hut. Some would stand in silence while some just scratched their scalps for the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps. Whoa! Good news on the penguin, Doc. He's up and kicking. In your car, drive into the city, buy a jug of milk for your nauseated kitty. The practice grew, their profits flew until one fateful day. When the nurse who did assist the doc asked for a raise in pay. The doctor pondered this a while, sat back and scratched his scalp, then said, no way, Jose. To the nurse of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps. Whoa! Good news on the kitty, Doc. She's feeling great. Six kittens. Named one after you. He's good. Now the moral of our story, it's the point we hope we've made. When you go a little loopy, better keep your nurse well paid. while some just scratch their scalps for the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps. And now it's...
it's time for Obscure Broadway Show Tunes with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings an obscure Broadway show tune. Without further ado, from the unknown musical Office Supplies, the heart-rending love song, Where Have All the Staplers Gone? We don't have much time before the big meeting. No. No, we don't. Have you seen the scissors, miss? They're in the bottom drawer. I tried that drawer, but they're there no more. That's odd. I know I thought for sure. Have you seen the masking tape? It's right next to the phone. Oh, that's what I thought, but now it's not. Hmm. I guess I should have known oh, oh, where, where have all, all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? The ballpoint pens are gone again. They're gone again. The, the stick it pads have lost their stick. Do you remember when? Rubber bands, we're in their place. They're in the middle drawer. Light bulbs, easy to replace. Yes, there were always more. Reads of paper raining down. Legal pads, a plenty. Highlighters in every hue. I remember. Never less than. Oh, where have all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? The ballpoint pens are gone again. We've run out of packing slips. Someday my prints will come. Please replace the toner. Someday we'll find more of our vanilla folder. Where's the printer cable? Someday we'll find more of it. Adhesive shipping labels. Oh, oh. Where have all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? The ballpoint pens are gone again. Gone again. The sharpies all Obscure Broadway show tunes with Lev. Tune in for Act Two, Revenge of the Staplers. In the trappings of holiday bliss, wow. wrapped in bright wrappings, gone badly amiss. In paper and tape, in a cucumber shape. Oops, I <laughs> wrap myself up. For Christmas. Oops, I wrapped myself up for Christmas. I didn't mean to do it. Was stuck before I knew it. Oops, I wrapped myself up for Christmas. The tape was super sticky. And all went down too quickly. Somehow when I was packing, I got caught up in the wrapping in the ribbons and bows. The only gift with the nose. Oops, I wrapped myself up for Christmas. Okay, hey, Larry, where are you? Can you help me wrap Junior's present? Here I am. Where? Right here. I don't see you. I wouldn't expect you to. Huh? Why? Why? Ah! Because I... Oh, Larry? I wrapped myself up for Christmas. You wrapped yourself up? Yep. However did you do it? I don't know. Is it tricky to see through it? Yeah. Oh, oh why? Oh, did you wrap yourself up for Christmas? Didn't do it on purpose. Completely accidental. Uh, accidental? You do look ornamental. Aw, oh, thank you. Somehow when I were packing, I got caught up in the wrapping. All the ribbons and bows, the only gift with the nose inside. 
Wrap yourself up for Christmas. <laughs> oh, Larry, leave it to you. You're the only one I know who could go and wrap himself up. Really? Ah! Wrap himself up for Christmas. Sorry. Oh, wrapping up the school bus. The cucumber confused us. I can't see. And Wrap his clothes up for Christmas. Just trying to help, guys. Our anxiety is gross. Hello! We can see where we're going! Hello! So now when we were packing, we got all the pins to wrap into Christmas EP. Two repeats are in free. Larry! Wrap his clothes up for Christmas! Bob! Larry! Oh, oh no! I gotta get this wrapped! Junior's coming! I'll help! No! no don't let here! Yeah. I've got something for you! Hello? A wee! Actually, he wrapped me up. Larry, wrap it all up for Christmas. Hold on, guys. Trapped in the trap beans, a holiday bliss. Wrapped in bright wrapped beans, how bad we miss. We need the paper and tape and vegetable shape. It's so much fun to unwrap you from this. Here you go. You unwrap us all for Christmas. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Junior say... Has anyone seen Pod Grape? Larry, yeah. I'm all up for Christmas. Larry, sorry. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Larry. Normally, this would be the time when the narrator comes on and says, and now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. But I've been thinking and talking with the guys. And we've decided it's time to broaden our scope artistically. Yeah, we're artists! Word up! There's a time to be silly, and there's a time to be serious. A time to open up your heart and show how you feel artistically. Because we all have something to share. Your eyes see right through my disguise And no one can deny Maybe that I'm the one whose love is no surprise And he can't tell you no lie But there's a secret I've been hiding I can't keep it no more There's this thing about himself he's never told you before Baby Something missing in my middle and it's hard to ignore There's this thing about himself he's never told you before Baby Covered by your shirt, shirt but not your HMO. Belly button. Uh, uh. Belly button. Uh, uh. A stylish something absent from my midriff's decor. There's this thing about himself he's never told you before. Maybe.
Do I at least get a lollipop? And now it's time for bedtime songs with Junior, the part of the show when Junior gets tucked into his warm, comfy bed and is sung a bedtime song. Good night, good night. I'll tuck you in, good night. I'll kiss your cheek, soon you will sleep. Now close your eyes, good night. Junior? Can I have my bear? Your bear? My bear, right there, with brown and fuzzy hair. I love him so, and you must know I feel so much despair. I moan and groan and cry and weep. My tears would drown my counting sheep. You have to sleep. Oh, please, Mom, please don't make me sleep with all my fuzzy bear. Thanks. Good night, good night. The lights are off. Good night. Your eyes, good night. Uh, Mom? Hmm? Can I have my cat? Your cat? My cat, yes, that. He's soft and cute and fat. I love him so, and you must know my heart would fall down flat. It would hear an ache, and then it break. My tears would choke up birthday cake. The earth would quake. Oh, please, Mom, please, I'd lie awake with all my chubby cat! Good night, good night. It's really late. Mom, you don't go. I need my white tail dough. I love her so, and you must know my grief would overflow. Good night, good night. I'll tuck you in. Good my night. horse, my dog, my prettiest door of I love him so, and you, you must know. Go. Close your eyes. Good night. My crown, my hat, good night. My monkey and our moose. Good night, good night. My monkey and our cow. My four legs, good night. Close your eyes. Good night, good night, good night. I'm crying, good night, good night. 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 Good night, Junior. Good night. This has been Bedtime Songs with Junior. Tune in next time to hear Junior say... Can I have a drink of water? One day, while talking with Dr. Archibald, Larry confronts one of his deepest fears. If my lips ever left my mouth, packed a bag and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see, that'd be too bad. You'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. Alrighty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross. That'd be too bad. I might get mad. Hmm, that'd be too bad. You might get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lips moved to the loose, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad. You'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it! Did you say your father? Fascinating! So what you're saying is, if your lips left you... That'd be too bad, I'd be so sad, I might get mad, I'd call my dad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. Why? Because I love my lips. Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Laddie, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 lip. Larry, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, they turned blue. What could you do? Oh, they turned blue. I see. On the day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great aunt Ruth. She had a beard, and it felt weird. My, my, she had a beard, and it felt weird. She had a beard. Oh. Ten days after I turned eight, got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed, and I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar, and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip, and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen, and when he did start speaking, he just spoke Polish, and I only knew like three words in Polish, except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta!
Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young... They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird. My friends all laughed. Usta. I'm confused. I love my lips. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say... Have I ever told you how I feel about my nose? Oh, look at the time! Celery, 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 celery,